back in time to a magical and revolutionary decade. I lived in the 80s S. You are formidable struggles for love are secret, giants should not be. With the movement of yours, you become a giant robot. The Galactic. Before the amazing and spectacular movie The Demon Hunter, before the super popular Dragon Ball Z, before Dragon Ball, there was a hero based on the Chinese epic of the Monkey King, and that was the Galactic. He arrived in Peru in 1981 via Canal Seat, being included in the Festival of Robots, leaving us in shock with our mouths open just by watching his spectacular intro sequence. It was something never seen by the children of that time, that we were used to seeing Bugs Bunny, Captain Caveman and other drawings by Hanna-Barbera, and the closest and comparable to this series was Fuerza G, released a couple of years earlier, which in that first dubbing was called Guerra de los Planetas, and the old The Man of Steel, which were still broadcasting it since the 60s, but this was another level of spectacularity and epicness. Pero esto era otro nivel de espectacularidad y epicidad. And I ask my subscribers to please help me a lot, if they see one commercial that appears in the video, and if they see two, much better. Thank you very much for your support. El Gal Tico, along with the Avenger robot, was part of the first combo called the Festival of the Robots, which arrived in South America at the beginning of the 80s. It would be highly recommended that you have seen the first part I did for him, called the Avenger Robot. I leave its link above, so that you have a better perspective of what the Robot Festival was, which shook up everything seen to those of us who had the pleasure of seeing it in its first transmission. Origin is the only series of four where the hand of Go Nagai, master and lord of the super robots, was not. We were in the middle of the Star Wars fever that shook the world in 1977, and the space and interplanetary thing was fashionable. Toei Animation recruits two manga and anim heavyweights, Liji Matsumoto, the iconic mangaka, who created Captain Raymar, Galaxy Express, the Thousand Year Princess, and participated in the creation of Intrepid Spaceship or Yamato. Toei Animation asked him to adapt his relatively recently published Manga Starsinger, which was a space opera, based on the now classic Chinese story of the Monkey King's journey to the West, very popular throughout the East, which Akira Toriyama would later adopt for his Dragon Ball. Liji Matsumoto, together with the collaboration of the semi-god of manga and anime, and pioneer of anthropomorphic robots Osamu Tezuka, creator of Astro Boy, Goldar, Leo, Kimba and many more, created their story and designed the characters for the anime CF Sayuki Starzer. Translated literally, it would be Starzer's space trip to the West, premiering on April 2, 1978. Naturally there was a work of artists who stylized the characters for their anim version, and as in Latin American pastes the long titles, it was simply called the Galactic. 
Sith International, an American production company that was also dedicated to the distribution of Anum to the United States. At the end of the 70s S, after their lukewarm reception with the public of the United States, by distributing their limited series to regional channels, they set their eyes on Latin America with a new strategy. They grabbed their four sets and packaged it up as a combo. And these series were the first combo formed by the Avenger, whose original type is Kotex, his robot Jig, the magnetic robot, and the Galactic, whose original title is Starzinger. Then a second combo formed by the Gladiator, whose original title is Divin Demon Dragon Jin, and the Super Magnetron or Mechnek Robogakin, that came to Peru just in 1985 by Amrica Television Canal Cuatro. The SIC not only packaged, but hired the services of the company Sound Connection Studios of the music producer Shuki Levy and Heinz Saban, who would later form Saban Entertainment, but at that time they had as their artist a young Captain Memo Aguirre, who was in charge of the composition and his interpretation of the already legendary intros of this series, and the dubbing in Spanish proper was commissioned by Interzone. Unlike the poor and neglected American dubbing, the Spanish dubbing was done by real professionals and artists dubbing monsters. It is here that we find those voices that accompanied us so much in the 80s as that of the legendary Yes S. Barrero. The first combo was formed by the Avenger and the Galactic of 1980. We have already introduced the Avenger first, and now it's the turn of the Galactico, which closes this first combo of the Robot Festival. History In the future, Princess Aurora, survivor of the attack of the monstrosities in her kingdom of the moon, is selected by Dr. Sandra to travel to the center of the Milky Way aboard the spaceship Queen of the Cosmos, where there is the great planet that due to the decrease of its beneficent energy that affects the entire galaxy, has caused a biological imbalance, creating mutations that turns living beings into monstrosities, monstrous beings hungry for death and destruction creando mutaciones que convierte a los seres vivientes en monstróbulos, monstruosos seres hambrientos de muerte y destrucción. And to protect her on that long journey, they will recruit the Galactic Cybernetic, a rebellious and violent cybernetic being converted by Professor Jorkel, assistant to Dr. Sandra. But he has what it takes to face any threat from space, and on their journey they will be joined by two other cybernetic Glutton and Giorgio, thus beginning their odyssey to the center of the Milky Way, full of continuous threats and dangers that will prevent them from fulfilling their mission of Princess Aurora llena de continuas amenazas y peligros que impedirán cumplir su misión de la princesa Aurora. Characters, Princess Aurora, who came to Earth from the Kingdom of the Moon, fleeing from the monstrosities that destroyed her kingdom and her parents, was welcomed by Dr. Sandra, and she reveals to her that she is the only one who can restore the order of the galaxy before the progress of the monstrosity's conversion, because on the great planet there is an elderly queen and she needs to be re-raised by a person who has the transcendental power, and she is just that person with a sweet and angelic character. De carácter dulce y angelical. He pilots the spaceship Queen of the Cosmos, has psychic and telepathic powers, and knows very well how to handle his three cybernetics, with only his feminine subtlety, and will not hesitate to punish the galactic by means of his diadem, when he gets tasty and disobedient. Dr. Sandra, a scientist of the planet Earth of great wisdom, is a great analyst and strategist, possessing an overwhelming martial personality that even the Galactic One fears him because he locked him in the moon when he began to create excesses on Earth. She built the spaceship the Queen of the Cosmos and is the tutor of Princess Aurora 
and mastermind of the mission. Es la tutora de la princesa Aurora y mente maestra de la misión. Professor Jorkel is the elderly and faithful assistant of Dr. Sandra, he was the one who turned a young man already kissed, aspiring to be the galactic, into a cybernetic being, and he is the one who denies the most, for having selected him for this conversion. He is somewhat curmudgeonly, and likes to give long sermons to the galactic when he commits a foul, but deep down, he loves him like a son. The Galactic would become the bodyguard of Princess Aurora, selected for that purpose by the Stoic Dr. Sandra. Of a wild, wild and violent nature. Emotional, who sees destruction as fun, but is controlled thanks to a headband that the princess gave him. The Galactic, by its cybernetic nature, possesses superhuman strength and speed. He has the ability to create a kind of holographic copy of himself. He has as a weapon his trionic spear, which he uses with an extraordinary mastery, from which he launches all kinds of destructive rays and also allows him to become giant to face the kaiju level monstrosities, and uses to transport his flaming ship, a little personal ship with which he has a telepathic connection, but more than piloting it, he uses it as a kind of slider or Hawaiian board. Glutton of the Mud Planet is the cybernetic fatty who puts the spark of humor, of great physical strength, but somewhat clumsy and distracted because his mind stops thinking about food and also about Princess Aurora, and he is the one who most to argue with the Galactic. His weapon is the demolishing super mass, and his personal ship, the Stellar Bull will cause him more than a headache because he enters the fair due to his corpulence. He has a kind of shield on his abdomen that also serves as a telephone dialer to call his ship, which is also equipped for underground operations. Giorgio, another cybernetic from a watery planet, was the last one to join, not so much because of the great mission of the princess, but he was enchanted by her beauty and will take any opportunity to woo her, leaving Glutton and the Galactic very jealous. Of the group, he is the most technological, logical and reasonable and he will use a calculator-sized mini-computer, where he will consult the possibilities of everything. His personal ship is the aquifer ship. He possesses built-in weapons like his rocket launchers, camouflaged on his trapezes. He also has his magnetic and freezing trident, a kind of trident rifle that looks great when he uses it. The Villains Throughout its 73 chapters, all kinds of pirates, mad scientists and their creations appeared. But their main enemies were the monstrosities, true mutants, who were previously peaceful living beings, who were modified and transformed when the positive energy of the great planet weakened, being an entire intergalactic fauna of monstrous creatures of different characteristics, because some were also cybernetic monsters, mechas, biological means. Pues algunos también eran monstruos cibernéticos, mecas, medios biológicos. One of the most powerful villains and full of resources was the monstrous brothers Gingeriano and Quinquim N, cruel space pirates, who sacrificed their subordinates as their captain to fulfill their plans and turned the cybernetics upside down for several chapters. Y que pusieron de cabeza los cibernéticos por varios capítulos. Then the saga of Queen Sarkanda and her cybernetic captain Balamia appeared. Already, in the last nine chapters, which in Japan they called Star Singer 2, a group of monstrous creatures appeared where Professor Jorkel installed a circuit to the Galactic, so that he can control his size when facing these monsters that were practically kaijus and were just the ones that appear in the intro. Justo los que en la intro. 
In the dub, the same team from the Avenger was repeated, and these talents were Maru Guzman. Galactic, I would like you to tell me about yourself, to know everything about your past. Yes, I am very interested in getting to know you. Get out of here. Leave immediately. Yes, as Barrero. Princess Aurora, from this moment on, with my strength, I will protect you from all your enemies. Don't worry about it anymore. I have always been considered the most powerful force in the solar system. More beautiful than the moon. What a heavenly beauty. Edgar Walt. First of all, I want you to know that I love the princess more than you too. My dream is to take the princess to the big planet. I think that love has no measure, but if they insist, let's see. Galactic, you've done a great job. I am proud to have created a cybernetic as powerful as you. I'm sorry for him. Not knowing how long I'll see you again. Roberto Alexander. The time has come, the truth is, Princess Aurora, you are much more beautiful than the shooting stars. You are much tastier than a cake fresh out of order. Can't I say a few words of love to Princess Aurora? Edith Diaz. Because the energy emitted by this great planet has maintained peace throughout the Milky Way, but its energy has begun to decrease. For that reason, many creatures have become diabolical beings because of mutations. We have known this by measuring the emanations coming from the planet. Its soundtrack was composed by the composer Shunsuke Kikuchi, another legend of the incidental music of movies and anims, who a few years later would take charge of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Curiosities. Its original title translated would mean Starzinger's space journey to the west. In Latin America simply the Galactic. Starzinger in Italy and in several European countries. In England. In the United States space tours. Unfortunately, in Peru, only the Galactica was broadcast in its first robot festival broadcast in 1981, with their respective retransmissions for a couple of years. At the end of 1985, the second combo of the Festival of Robots arrived in Peru, where the Gladiator and the Super Magnetron premiered, and this time, on AM Rica Television Canal Cuatro, and for 1987, they broadcast only the chapters of the Avenger robot. The creation of its story and characters was the work of Liji Matsumoto and Osamu Tezuka, who by 1952 published his manga, The Legend of Son Goku, and I suspect he also contributed the cyborg robotic concept of the series. Although Matsumoto was a mangaka and a great writer of space operas, where his characters, especially the female ones, were already his trademark, he did not have much experience in the design of mechanical and biomechanical monsters. In the final design of Princess Aurora, it is clearly noticeable that it was inspired by Disney's Princess Aurora. Many concepts in the design of the characters and their vehicles of the Galactic had already been seen a few years earlier in the anim of Tetsunoko Tekuman or Technoman. According to some sources, only 47 episodes of the original 73 were dubbed and broadcast at the time. Currently, there are only 24 episodes with the original dubbing, and it was just the work of Series TV de Chile in the 2008. For those who wish to see this compilation in the original dubbing and also the other episodes that were not seen but in their original language, I recommend that you visit the description of the video where you will find its links, and you will also find the links of my book and Deus said both digitally and physically by Amazon, and a link to those who wish to support me on Patreon where I also have my book in PDFs.
Thank you very much for watching the video, and if you really like this report, give me your valuable like, comment, share the video to more nostalgic and young researchers of the 80s, subscribe to my channel, that would help me a lot to continue developing it. There are already more than 40 full content videos from that wonderful decade that we were lucky enough to enjoy. And I know that with this video, a lot of memories will be activated and unlocked. And I say that because I lived in the 80s. The galactic crosses the outer space, the galactic to humanity will help, and justice and the good.